Hi, it's Rose. Welcome back to the School of Mathematics. And if this is your first time on here, hi, hello, welcome. Please feel free to join the family by clicking the subscribe button and also liking and sharing the video if you do enjoy watching me, okay? So today we're talking on sorts. What are sorts and why do we use them in mathematics? Okay, I have a video talking about numbers because we would need to know the various types of numbers that we have before we can talk about sorts. So the two important numbers I want us to note for today's class is, now in the simplest form, I'm going to break down rational numbers and irrational numbers. Rational numbers were gotten from the word ratio. If you know what ratio is, you know that if you are given three ratio two, it's same as three over two, right? A fraction is same as ratio. It's also known as a quotient, yeah? Where you have your numerator and denominator. denominator. <laughs> so 3 over 2 would give us 1.5, right? So rational numbers and numbers are quotients. They are real numbers that are quotients, which gives exact values as their answers. I hope that made sense. Now for irrational numbers, there are also quotients, right? But they don't have an exact number. So you could have a value where it's continuous and there is no end to it. For example, root 2. Root 2 is 1.4142135. Continuous, like it continues and has no end. So these are irrational numbers because they don't have an end to their answer. It just keeps going. So in mathematics, we would rather just leave it as this instead of writing the value. So now this is what you refer to as sort values that have no end. But note that not all irrational numbers are sort, but all sorts are irrational numbers. Well, let's just dive into it. Okay, so now let's define sort. Sort is the irrational root of a positive rational number. Now you know what rational and irrational numbers are. What do we mean? The pos the, it's, sort is the irrational root, right, of a positive rational number. So this is called the nth root of A, okay? Don't get confused. This has to be positive. It can be negative. That's why we have the positive rational number. So... This is called the nth root of a, right? So in a case where you have 5 root 2, you know it's called the fifth root of 2. I hope you got that. So now also know that n is the order. Okay? Then this root sign is the radical then a is called the radicand or the base ignore my slanted and writing okay <laughs> so you know this is called the other n is the other this sign is called the radical and a the value inside the radical is called the radicand or the base. Now let's move into something more exciting, right? I want you to know that you can also pick your calculator. It's fine. <laughs> of course. <laughs> We're dealing with roots, right? I also have my calculator here. So let's do something together. So I'll do the first one. You do the second one. I'll do the third one and I'll probably leave others for you to do since you guys love to join me in doing the exercises. Okay. Now we have our numbers given to us, right? We would simplify it write it in its decimal form, and then we'll tell if it's a sword or not. Can we do it? Let's kick it. So now root 2 in its simplified form is still root 2, right? So now as its decimal form, let's do it together. And we have 1.414213315. It just continues. So what does this tell us? It's a what? Sword. 
check right so i'll leave this one you do it and tell me the answer in the comment section so let's move to the third one we have root four root four in its simplified form without using your calculator you know it's two right in its decimal form it's 2.00 it just you can write it as 2.0 or 2 don't be confused okay so is this a sword or not not a sword now why because it has an exact answer it's not continuous it does it has an end it's exact right we don't have it continuously going to where we don't know right yeah so let's do let me do one more it's still three root 11 in its simplified form because if you say you want to write it as 11 1 over 3 you you would you would be confused so you rather just write this right so it's still 3 root 11 so let's use our calculator you know what to do right so on your calculator you have your shift and then your square root sign and then you put your 11 so we have 2 point two two three nine eight zero it keeps going so what does this tell us it's a sod so now i leave this once for you to do and let me know your answer in the comment section so in the next class we're going to treat our rules of sod and then solve examples so please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't like share so your friends can see of course and then leave a comment telling me your answers until next class <laughs>